passive reinforcement learning schools. In passive reinforcement learning, that, uh, the agent will be having a policy. So agent will have the policy type. Okay. So using this policy, it will know what actions the agent has to take at any particular state. So what are the different actions the agent has to take at any particular state is known to the agent already. Okay. So what is its goal here? Its goal is to learn how the how good the policy is, whether which our policy we are taking, the fixed policy is taking. The agent is taking fixed policy. What is the task of uh, passive reinforcement learning is it has to learn whether the policy is good policy, how much good policy it is and okay. To do that, what we are doing? So the agent has to learn the utility functions. So based on the utility functions only, we can decide whether that is a good policy or not. Okay. So what is the task here is to learn whether that policy is good policy or not. To, to do that, we have to, the agent has to find out the utility function. Okay. So this is the example for first in uh, example students. So here the agent has to start from this start location and it has to reach these two terminal states, theta plus one, minus one, these are the terminal states it has to reach, okay. And here we have, this is the optimal policy. This policy will tell us what actions the agent has to take at each and every state. When this optimal policy is considered, what is the, um, values of state, these are the utility values of the state. Okay. So when this optimum policy is considered, these are the utility values uh, the agent got. Okay. So uh, if you just observe this passive learning, in the passive learning, it is using fixed policy. Okay. So that is why passive learning is similar to policy iteration algorithm. In the policy iteration algorithm also, we will be having a fixed policy. And the policy evaluation algorithm will be having two steps to it. That is policy evolution and policy increment. What is policy evolution? That policy evolution is nothing but whichever uh, policy is given you, for that policy, the agent has to find out the utility values. That is called policy evolution. And uh, once finding the utility values, it will be checking for policy improvement. Okay. So, like that. So this passive learning is also similar to policy evolution task, uh, which is the part of policy iteration algorithm. Okay. So what is the difference between policy learning and the policy evolution is that the main difference is that policy learning algorithm does not know the transition model. It does not know the transition model. And what is the transition model? The transition model is the probability in that probability of reaching the state S dash from S by performing some action A. Okay, so the passive learning agent does not know the transition model and it does also don't know the reward function or FS. Okay, so uh, because every, each and every uh, state, at each and every state, the agent is receiving some reward. Okay, so this passive learning agent does not know the transition model and it is also don't know the reward. What is reward? Reward is the reward for each and every state. Okay. So now what is that? Agent, uh, what, how uh, agent will be doing here? Agent will be executing set of trials. Every time it will be just trialing. Okay, it will be executing set of trials in the environment using the using the policy because it is having a fixed policy. So, so each trial, if you just see, each trial will start from the start location. What is the start space? One comma one is a start location. It will start from the start state. And uh, to reach the terminal state, what are the terminal states? Four comma two, four comma three. It will be visiting set of other states. Okay. The other states it is reaching and visiting and finally, it is reaching the two terminal states, either of these two terminal states, that is 4, 2 and 4, 3. Okay. So, um, in uh, whenever it is uh, changing from one state to other state, what is that? The agent will be receiving some information about the environment. So, no, that is called percept. Okay. So, whenever uh, there is a change, 
then there is a person, the agent will be receiving some information about the environment. This information gives your the current state and reward received. These are the two informations it is giving. What is the current state it is reaching by performing some action? What is the state it is reaching? And what is the reward it is receiving? Okay, in that state. That is also given. Okay. So, uh, for example, if you see the trial states, I told you, trials to reach the terminal state. Okay, these are the three trial states. If you just observe, just observe this, so what is that environment we have? We have four plus three environment. So this is the four plus three environment students. The agent has to start from this state. This is the start state. And there is a barrier here. The agent should not enter into this state. Okay. And this is the plus one state and this is the minus one state. So these are the terminal states. The agent has to reach any one of these terminal states. I will just observe the first trial. So, what is the sequence it is taking? It is starting from 1, 1. This is the location it is starting. Then reaching 1, 2. Then reaching 1, 3. Again, it is reaching 1, 2. Again, it is reaching 1, 3. Then 2, 3. 3, 3. And finally, it is reaching 4, 3. This is the first trial. How the agent is reaching 4, 3. Okay. Then similarly, if you see the second trial students, just see that what is that? The agent is starting at 1, 1, it is reaching 1, 2, and reaching 1, 3, then it is reaching 2, 3, then it is reaching 3, 3, then it is reaching 3, 2, then it is reaching 3, 3 again, then it is reaching finally plus 1. Okay, so this is the second trial. In the second trial, the agent is going in that way. Okay. Similarly, if it takes third trial, the third trial is like this student, you just see this figure. So the agent is starting at 1, 1, and it is reaching 2, 1, 3, 1, and 3, 2, then it is reaching minus 1. Okay. So these are the three trials. Like that, uh, the agent will be taking infinite number of trials. Okay. Then finally, it will be learning the utility values from each and every trial. Okay. So, the agent will be learning the utility values from each and every trial. And um, from that student, um, it will be just obtaining what is the optimal solution. Okay. So, just see that here, for each and every state, what is that agent will be receiving? It will be just receiving the what is that state and its uh, reward also. See here, if you just see the subscript here, what is the subscript indicates? The reward that the agent is receiving for each and every state. Okay, so we know that for non-terminal states, the reward is minus 0 0.04. For terminal states, what is the reward? Plus 1 and minus 1. Okay. So here, what is that? The object is to use the information about the reward. Here we are getting some information about the reward. No? If the, if the agent will use this information about the reward. To learn the expected utility u by f s associated with non-terminal states. Okay, so we have to find out what is the utility values for non-terminal states. The terminal states utility values are already given here, so it is plus one and minus one. So uh, the agent has to learn what are the utility values of non-terminal states. Okay, so utility is defined to the expected sum of rewards obtained if the policy is followed. Okay, if any policy is followed, how do you find out the utility? Utility is found by using expected sum of rewards that the agent will be receiving. So, what is the formula for utility function? This is the formula students. This is u pi of s is equal to expected sum of discounted rewards when a policy is executed from the initial state. Okay. Now, if you just see what is this uh, gamma, gamma is called discount factor. For four plus three word, this gamma value will be equal to one. Okay. Now, we'll discuss what is direct utility estimation. 